if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 4 of the Newcastle career mode here on FIFA 16. Uh, you guys were very vocal in the previous comment section, thank you very much for that, with regards to the players that I have on my shortlist here. Uh, the most popular option by a long way was actually Rico Henry at left back. You guys reckon that he's going to be a really, really good player to grow into. So I'm going to go after Rico Henry at left back. The most popular centre back was a Corre as well. So uh, I'm probably going to go after him. As a result of that, I'm definitely going to be trying to move on Paul Dummett because uh, he can play at left back and at centre back. But I'm going to get a, a player that can play in each of those roles. So I don't need Paul Dummett. And uh, that would mean that the defence would be pretty damn strong. I did make a bit of a derp in the previous episode. I said that it was Marvo and Gufran that had been released last season. It was actually Marvo and Obertan that had been released last season. So I've adjusted that in the uh, transfer list and taken uh, Gufran off the transfer list and put Obertan on the transfer list. So we'll have to wait and see what happens over the next couple of episodes. I don't think at present... We need to uh, worry about making too many more signings other than uh, the left back and the centre back. I think after that, I may still want to go for a right back. I may still want to go for a right back. But other than that, I think we're pretty set, at least until January. I want to see how, because we have a number of players here, as you can see. Such a big squad at Newcastle United. So we don't want to necessarily have so many players that I can't actually do anything with some of them. So that uh, they get frustrated and aren't actually... Uh, being able to uh, get enough first-team football to grow. But as you can see here, except Isaac Hayden is joining. He, of course, joined Newcastle in real life, so we're picking him up here in this series. I will probably send him out on loan, though, because I have a number of cent central midfielders. So uh, let me do that. Uh, actually, will I be able to do it? Well, I I'm just trying to think. Will I actually be able to do it because he's been purchased this season? I can add him to the loan list. Good. Okay, we'll add him to the loan list. To the loan list. For a year, and we'll try and get him out. Actually, I might now, because we're going to be looking for another centre-back. Do the same with uh, Good, Curtis Good. Let's add him to the low list for two years. And uh, Darlow, we're contemplating it. Again, not been many comments, or any comments, as far as I can remember, with regards to Carl Darlow. You guys will have to let me know what to do with him. Had loads of scout reports back now. That means that we'll be able to see in full depth how good everybody is. We've also had a transfer offer here for Henri Saive, which I'm going to reject. He's been very, very good for me in pre-season. Not as good as Jack Colbeck, but still extremely impressive. And Coventry have accepted the £1.3 million bid for Adam Armstrong. So we will bring him in as well, which will mean... Uh, I don't want to give him important first-team player. I'll try sporadic first-team player just to try and keep his expectations down, but I may have to offer him a larger squad role. I am, as an, a result of bringing, in, or bringing back Adam Armstrong to the squad, I am going to let uh, Riviere go. I haven't really used him, and to be fair, Perez, Mitrovic and Gale have all been very, very good for me up top. So uh, if we're going to be bringing Adam Armstrong back, we're not going to need Riviere. And to be fair, a lot of Newcastle fans in the comments section have been saying that they wish Riviere would go in real life as well. So we'll try and do that in this series too. Alaba looking like he's going to go to PSG rather than the normal destination for him, which is Juventus. We do get an offer for Gabriel Obertan though. I'm just going to accept that. So uh, he's going to leave us now. Obviously, like we say, mistake from me. He was released in real life and uh, we'll let him go to Leeds. We'll do a quick bit of training as well. Once uh, we get... Out of the transfer window, I'll uh, start to train uh, different players on a rotation basis. But for now, I'm just going to concentrate on these uh, on these five whilst we uh, just get ourselves through the transfer window because I don't want to be overly complicated and uh, confusing myself with transfers and training different people in different positions, etc. Adam Armstrong is coming in. That deal is done. We still have plenty of money available. Now, I am going to send a scout out to uh, have a look at players whose contracts are expiring so that... If we have any money left in January, which we should have a large chunk of money left in January, because I'm not planning on doing many big transfers right now, like I say, due to the size of the squad. So I'm going to send my scouts out to have a look at players whose contracts are expiring, because obviously some of the players whose contracts were expiring in real life in the initial save, we've moved because in real life they expired and they found other clubs. Players like Joel Matip and Andre Carrillo, etc. and Danny Alves, 
we transferred them already in this save before starting. So uh, there may be other players that will become available with uh, their uh, contract not being longer than six months. We'll say first team quality just to ensure we uh, get the right sort of players. And we'll say uh, just a contract length of uh, one year because you can't put six months, unfortunately. And these three are these three guys are already out scouting Portugal, the Netherlands and England. I'll also send these three guys out as well. And then we will push a little bit further through the window. Let's put a bid in for Rico Henry. He's not valued at that much, so we should be able to pick him up quite cheap. If I just whack in an offer of 800,000, they should accept that pretty much straight away. So fingers crossed that deal will go through. Like we said, you guys were very keen on me picking up Jaws Acore as well. So we'll offer them. Actually, let's try and use some players as make weight because we do have some players we're trying to get rid of. So maybe I could use Sylvan Marvo as part of this deal potentially for Jaws Acore. We'll have to wait and see, but the offer is going in. Thomas Callas was also pretty popular, but I'm going to hold off for now because we're going to look for uh, Akore and Rico Henry first. And uh, for right back, I might go for Dominic Iorfa, who uh, looks very good physically already at just 20 years of age. And with training, similarly with Rico Henry, could hopefully perhaps, uh, you know, grow to become quite a good player. Uh, he'll definitely replace Gamis, who's already 30, and uh, his stats will start to drop soon. So despite the fact that we brought him in because uh, Newcastle United brought him in in real life, I'll probably be moving him on sooner rather than later in the save as things stand, because obviously, uh, in FIFA terms, his stats will start to drop and we'll need to replace him. But we're pushing on further towards that Sheffield United ge Sheffield Wednesday game. Sorry, uh, They are not interested in the player. Okay, fair enough. They're not interested in Marvo, but are they interested perhaps in CM de Jong now that would be great if I could get CM de Jong out of the door because I really don't want to use CM de Jong in this save whatsoever so hopefully Villa will accept that player sold Gabriel Obertan has gone to Leeds which is great and a scout has brought back 10 options from England Joel Matip contract expiring in 12 months okay uh, that's weird well maybe it's just because their contract that sucks. So I thought if I, because we'd moved them, that their contracts would be of decent length. But it seems, regardless of the fact that I've moved players from club to club, they still only have 12 months left on their contracts. So uh, I'll purposefully not go after people like Faguli and Matip who have signed for clubs in real life on the back of their contract expiring, because obviously they're going to have signed more than a 12-month contract in real life. So it wouldn't necessarily be realistic for me to go after those guys as things stand. Jan Vertonghen would as right now not be a realistic target but who knows if we get promoted and Tottenham don't have a very good season maybe maybe we could look into him for next year Joey Barton obviously in real life has gone to Rangers but I can't send him to Rangers in the save because Rangers aren't on FIFA so we won't be going after Joey Barton either uh, Alexander Tetti I'm not really too sure about any of these to be honest Rico Henry's contract is apparently expiring in oh no that'll be just because they're the guys that I've scouted okay never mind <laughs> I almost uh, almost confused myself there but been able to sort things out in my mind and we'll now push a little bit further and see what happens with those bids. Well that's news that we didn't need. Daryl Janmat's torn his hamstring in training and he's out for six weeks. I'm definitely going to be going in for Dominic Iorfa then. Uh, you want £3,000 do you? That's not a problem and four years and we'll say sporadic first team player as well for Rico Henry. That looks like that deal may go through. Who's in talks with Bill Bell? Jaws Okore. Hmm okay well if they reject my offer with Rob Elliott then I will be forced to uh, try I'm just gonna accept that I'll be forced to uh, just lump a big bid in for Jules Acore and uh, we'll try and get him in that way instead uh, three players found in the Netherlands whose contracts are expiring Ron Vlaar obviously formerly of Aston Villa uh, Tony Vilhaler Vilhaler sorry his contract is expiring definitely keep an eye on him Dirk Kout though not really fussed about to be completely honest uh, we'll do a quick training session again and then I'll go and put a bid in for Dominic Iorfa. Right then, Dominic, let's offer for you, shall we? You're valued at £1.1 million. They're short of players in that position, apparently, but if I just whack in a bid of like 1.5, they should accept that. And £1.5 million is nothing to spend, really. We are only spending championship levels worth of uh, income right now. Obviously, in real life, Newcastle gone out and waxed like £10 million here and £12 million there, but... For now, Aston Villa accept for Jaws Okore. That is great news. I don't mind giving you £60,000 a week either. I'll say important first team player, but he's probably 
well, he's definitely going to go straight into the starting lineup. Rico Henry has accepted his contract as well. He is in. So a third new signing of, no, fourth new signing of the window. Adam Armstrong. We brought in Rico Henry now. And where are you down the bottom? Isaac Hayden as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. It's exactly what we needed. I'll put Henry on the bench, actually. So uh, I'll just go and rearrange this for OCD. And then we'll push a little bit further forward again. Sylvain Marvo has gone to Watford for 2.7 million. That's a deal that we uh, said we were definitely going to get done. And great news that Genie Wijnaldum is back from injury. So whether he'll be able to feature in this game against Wednesday, I'm not sure. It might be a little bit too early. I could perhaps put him on the bench and bring him off the bench. Although he's come to me, as you can see there, in that email and said, Boss, I'm good to play. So... Maybe we'll start him on that left-hand side. We'll have to wait and see whether he's got that little plaster symbol, whether it will let me actually uh, do anything with him. Riviere, I am definitely going to sell. And to be fair, we've got plenty of money and I'm quite happy to let him go for £100,000 undervaluation. Czech Teote, though, will be staying, at least for now. But uh, in a season's time, perhaps, I might want to be moving him on and bringing in someone younger. But CM Diong is gone. Jaws Okore joins us. Four new signings in today's episode so far. Things are absolutely flying along now in this transfer window. Let's go as far as the Sheffield Wednesday game. We'll play that today. And then again, I'll hold off and wait and see what you guys say. But I think for now, I'm probably set for the season. Dino and Eldon supposedly is still... Oh no, that might be Dalyama actually. So we still need that right back. We still need a right back. But I think once we bring a new right back in, which will potentially be... Um, Dominic Iorfa, I think that'll be it. I think I'll be set for the season then, which would be absolutely fantastic. So uh, fingers crossed we can get Iorfa in uh, sooner rather than later. Whether that'll be today or not, I'm not sure. It depends what happens immediately after this Sheffield Wednesday game. But let's go into that game now and start our championship season. Genie Wijnaldum is fit to play, so he's going to start at left wing for me. And then other than that, the side looks as you might expect it at this point of the season. So hopefully... Despite the fact that we've unfortunately got that injury to Dariyama, we should be able to get three points on the opening day of the championship season. Drop the video a like if you haven't to this point, by the way, and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Although, to be fair, if you've made it this far through the video, you're probably already subscribed. Bannon gives the ball away to Henri Saive and will set Iosi Perez away. First chance of the championship season goes Iosi Perez's way, but unfortunately... He puts it wide. He did score a good goal in a pre-season game in a similar fashion, but this time the left-footed shot not on target. Wasn't that a core rate? Oh, God, how powerful does he want to be in the air? Really looking forward to using him at centre-back now. Tovan can get around the outside of the defender, but he is left-footed, so we'll turn back inside, and Florian Tovan can't give us a 1-0 lead after 20 minutes, but we are dominating this game at the start of the championship season. This gives me confidence that we might be able to have a very successful year here in the championship. Nice ball by Matthias into Hooper, looking to get the turn in. There's it back to Hunt, into Gary Hooper. Woo! That wasn't that far away, or at least it didn't look like it. Gary Hooper with Sheffield Wednesday's first chance of the game, trying to bend it into that top corner. It was a lot further away than it looked from that initial angle, but still, decent chance. Gammes to Colback. Just gets it underneath his uh, spell before the defender arrives. Sissoko will get this to Ozzy Perez. And another left-footed shot, this time on target, but well saved by Kieran Westwood. I am determined to get myself a goal in this game at some point. We will win this. We've had a number of chances so far. Another one from Ozzy Perez. I can't seem to get a chance on his right foot, it seems, but going in at the break at nil-nil. Out to Gamez. Tovan with space to move into here. And we'll look for an early cross. Deflected. Oh! <laughs> Could have gone in. Nuhu. Back to Forestieri. Into Barry Bannon again. Zhao. Into Magidi. Don't do this to me now. Tim Krull with a good save. We've absolutely dominated this game, but they're going to have the final couple of chances, it seems, to try and get a winner out of this one. Barry Bannon with the corner. It's deep towards a man that's free. Punch clear by uh, Tim Krull. And if the referee will give me enough time to let... Dwight Gale makes some moves. We could have caught them on the counter. A nil-nil draw away from home at Hillsborough, but I'm extremely, extremely pleased with the way that the team played. Carrying on our good form from pre-season into uh, 
the full competitive season, at least in the way that we played. Unfortunately, not with the result, but seven shots, two on target. To be fair, we had six shots, two on target at half time, so we only had the one effort in the second half. Sheffield United shut up shop and tried to steal it at the end, but they weren't able to, thankfully. Let's jump back to the menus and see if we've had any news on Dominic Iorfo. If I can get him in before the cup game against Crawley midweek, then he can start. I'm going to transfer offer for Freddie Woodman. We are going to send him out on loan to Blackpool for two years. He will hopefully grow quite well there. No news yet of Dominic Iorfo. There's still a day and a bit to go until the Crawley game. And that's just Riviere leaving us to go to Birmingham City. One more day. Hopefully this email here might be Dominic Iorfo accepting his contract. No, a scout update from Germany. Okay, transfer offer for Rob Elliott. Great. We're just going to let him go. That's another £600,000 added to the budget-ish. And Carl Darlow wants to play in the cup. And to be fair, I'm probably going to play Sells, actually, rather than him. A few players in Germany, perhaps, that uh, their contracts are expiring. We'll have a look through that a little bit later. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Four new signings today, was it? Four? We've got Rico Henry. We've got Jaws Acore. We also brought in... Let's have a look through the list. We also brought in Isaac Hayden and Adam Armstrong. Four new signings. Yes, and there's still going to be more to come, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel to ensure you don't miss out on any further episodes of this series. It's going up every single day. Uh, there will, of course, be a My Player episode last night, which needs your attention if you haven't seen it, so check that too. But for now, that's all from me. I'll see you next time.